Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today's video is just me pulling apart the transfer case off the gearbox just to reveal what's gone on inside, what's damaged and what's actually broken. And it is the fifth gear that's stripped. Um, basically you can see that this is the non-upgraded part because it's got a little spacer in. It's not actually attached to the gear, the fifth gear. So as suspected, all the gearbox looks pretty good inside. I haven't um, run a feeler gauge on the side of the synchros and measured the, the gaps or anything like that, which it shows you in the manual. Um, basically like the tolerances for the wear. So I'll probably do that. Um, but what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna order a new main shaft in fifth gear. I will probably order a new set of bearings and front and rear oil seals as well, just to, um, while I'm here, I may as well replace them. And then I'm gonna leave that, leave this as it is for now. Now I know what's damaged. I know I haven't got or order any other gears. All the gears look really good. The synchros don't look worn on the teeth or anything like that. So I'm happy with that. I've had no other leaks from anywhere else. So I'll just, as a precautionary measure while I'm here, I'll change the bearings and the seals. Um, so all that's left now is for me to order the main shaft and the fifth gear and then strip it apart and put it all back together. So um, I'll roll the footage of me um, stripping it all down and um, yeah, enjoy. Cheers guys.
that would be the problem. There is the problem. 50. Completely stripped. See, I think that's the... That was what they were talking about with the um, the fifth gear upgrade. So the early boxes. Now this has got the spacers separate to the fifth gear. The later ones, this spacer is actually built as sort of machined into the fifth gear cog. So it's all as that that piece there is all as one. So then obviously you've got a lot more meat of that gear on the shaft. Like, so that's obviously lugging it in fifth gear. All that torque is sitting on that much of these splines, and then obviously that just whoop, rounds it straight off. So the upgrade will have this as one one whole section with this machined on to the cog. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it gave you a bit of an insight into what you'd be up for yourself if you were possibly looking at pulling your gearbox out and um, rebuilding it. So um, yeah, and don't forget, um, chuck us a subscribe and a like if you can, really helps us out. I think I'm up to like 60 subscribers, which is pretty good, I'm really impressed with that. So thanks everyone for subscribing and um, commenting on the videos, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, see you on the next one.